Hello everybody, my name is JoJoJo357 and this will be my Minecraft 101. We will be playing survival. I'll go ahead and type in a seed Minecraft 101. This will be going over the basics of Minecraft as well a lot farther than the basics from nether 101 to redstone 101 let's get started so when you first create a world you will spawn ra in a randomly generated world like this now you will only have a few minutes or so the sun is rising which means the day is about to start. The first thing you need to do to survive is locate a tree. I see there's a tree up there and a tree over there. I think I'm gonna go to the tree up there. So I just run over by W or double tapping the W key, which is the default key to run and walk. Now the controls are W S A D as normal. And so here we have a tree. Space bar is jump. And there's a little chicken right here. But there's a tree right here. So what you do when you come up to a tree is you left click on the bottom branch and that'll start punching it. Now why punch a tree? Because it will give you some wood. So go ahead and punch the rest of the tree. Jump up on in there and just take it down. Now once the tree is gone, the whole trunk, I got four pieces of wood. Oh, right there we can see a sapling. Saplings are used to replant trees so they regrow. So you just right click it on a piece of soil and it will regrow sooner or later. You can punch the leaves and they will get destroyed faster than normal, but letting them decay by themselves gives you a 15% more chance of them dropping a sapling. I think it's 15, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm positive it's 15. But because I don't like having it here and I already planted a tree, we'll go ahead and place that back where it grew and walk down here. Place the other one. So now that we got wood, we can left click it to pick it up and move it. Right here you see a 2x2 two two crafting area which will give us something if we put in there. So take your wood, drop it in, and if you click on the produced right here, you will get planks. Now each piece of wood will give you four planks. So go ahead and take all 16 planks. What you can do with this is you can make a workbench by in your two by two crafting area put a plank in all four just like so and you get a crafting table R left click while holding shift will put it in the m most available slot so what we need to do now is find some coal coal is used mainly for torches now torches are a source of light for a light source. Yes, that sounded bad. I have a new tree right here. I'm just going to go ahead and punch it again. Get me some more wood. Because wood is always useful. You can never have enough. With these trees, these are the normal, as I like to call them, oak trees, 
there's a 1 in 200 chance of an apple dropping. Now you must think, holy crap, an apple will never drop. Well, there's roughly 80 to 90 leaves. Roughly, in a good sized tree anyways. So this, you cut down four trees, you're bound to get an apple, right? But, it's midday. The sun is setting. We need to go find somewhere to hide. I'm just going to go over to this rock formation over here and see if I see any coal, which I do not see any. So, just keep looking. You can find some. Coal is mostly found in the ground, but it can be found on the side of cliffs. There's some coal up there. I'm going to show you a better way to get coal on your first night. Unless you get lucky, you can find some. So, I didn't get lucky enough. Climbing up there is too much of a hassle. I would fall and I would get hurt. I'd get fall damage, which wouldn't be good at all. So we're just going to go up this way again, back to where we spawned. We're going to select our workbench from our hot, hot bar, which is right down here, or right there as you see. And those can be selected with the mouse scroll wheel, or the 1 through 9 keys. So what we're going to do is find a good area. This looks good right here. We're going to plop this workbench down by right clicking. Like so. And as you can see, it places a workbench. So if you right click it again, you now have a 3x3 three three crafting area. So we're going to make some tools. First off, Two wooden planks, vertical like this, will give you four sticks. Now, you got sticks and wood planks. Well, what do we do with those, you might ask? It's simple. You make a handle, and then you make, you shape it out to the tool you want. This is a wooden pick. Select it and put it in your hot bar. Take the other one, other two sticks, place them vertical like that, put a piece of wood plank on top, and you get a wooden shovel. So what we're going to do now, as the sun is dawning on us, we're just going to make a overnight hole. So we're going to dig into the side of this hill. This is stone. For those of you who don't know what stone is, it's this. I don't know how much more I can explain it like that. It can only be mined with a pickaxe. You can punch it, but you won't get anything. This is dirt. You can punch it and you will get the stuff as that. But it's always faster to use the right tool of the job. So I'll just hollow this out quickly. And look, we now have eight pieces of cobblestone. Now, cobblestone is what you get from mining stone. So take this and make a box with your cobblestone. And that will give you a furnace. Now, a furnace is good used for cooking food, cooking raw materials, and so-and-so stuff like that. Now what we can do is we can right place it on the ground and it'll place it. Now what we want to do is make some charcoal. So put some wood in, throw some planks in, and it'll start to burn. Well that's doing that, come back out, punch your workbench, and you get your workbench back. Select it in your hotbar and come and place it in your house. Once you got it there, you now have a convenient crafting location. Now you can take your wood, make some more wooden planks, like so, 
and just make some sticks. Oh, what's this? This is charcoal. Charcoal is basically coal, just made with wood. So now you go and you make torches. It's simple. One stick on the bottom and one piece of coal or charcoal on the top. Each stick per coal slash charcoal will give you four torches, as you can see right here. As there's two there, we now have eight. And these give off a 15 light source, I believe. 15, yes. So place it, well just, just place it, and you'll see. You can see it got brighter. I'm going to go ahead, place another torch. And oh my gosh, night is coming. Well, if you so can, grab some more cobble. Clean out your house a little bit, make it look snazzy for when you have company. We're going to make a quick weapon for overnight. So what you need to make a sword, is which we're making, is a one stick and two cobble or wood or whatever resources you want to make it out of. You can't make a dirt sword, unfortunately, but a stone sword is much, much appreciated. So now that you got that, and the sun is setting, ah, uh, isn't that beautiful? Well, monsters are going to come out at night, and nobody likes monsters. So what we need to do is run inside our house and block it off so no monsters can get us. And just wait it out for the night. If something does come and you hear it, you can be brave enough get rid of the dirt and hit it with your sword but I don't recommend that I just recommend checking every now and then seeing if the sun is up yet it's not it'll take about three to five minutes but anyway that ends the first episode on Minecraft 101 I hope you all enjoyed I will see you in the next episode see ya